Hey, and welcome back to Paula City Comics. I'm Brandon Blocksdorf. And I'm Alex Fats. And today we are coming back to you with another movie commentary. These have been great. These have just been really fun and relaxing, and I love them. And we've been on a Fantastic Four kick lately. Um, or at least I have, I guess. And I make you guys go on a Fantastic Four kick with me, pretty much. That's really what it is. Um, but, uh, dude, I'm hyped for today's movie. Not only have I not seen it in years, but I just know it's trash. And I can't wait to see what, like, older Brandon now thinks of, like, these characters and how it works. Um, and I've never really, you know, like, I want to know, like, Alex's thoughts about the Silver Surfer. But also, we have a very special guest with us today. And, I mean, we go through all the formalities of doing our Patreon shoutouts and, like, all that type of stuff. But, you know what, you guys get those in the, like, the longer, other, shorter form. Actually, they're not longer, shorter form episodes. The more detailed, enriched episodes. This is us. This is practically an after dark late night in fact this is what inspired apollo city late night um but today we have the astonishing and you know his work you know him evan mcguire hello evan what is going on you guys i'm happy to be I, here i love that lean in to just like pause. This man has the most uh, the most dramatic like lean in to intro ever <laughs> love to see it it was more like I, I just kind of realized that I was at like the opposite side of my desk and I'm and you're like, oh, late, now I'm, so. you're like, I'm on the plate. <laughs> Shit. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> your, your voice was ready, but you're Slow just like, walk oh. up. <laughs> yeah. and here we are. No, thanks um, for inviting me on. I appreciate it. Dude, yes. Uh, what a movie for you to watch with us. I think it's um, very appropriate for some stuff that you and I are working on in the background. And uh, absolutely. For those who don't like know or realize by now um, we've announced it in the last couple ep episodes but uh evan's the one who redesigned apollo for us he gave us our new logo um all these cool cue cards you see and everything in the background um that's all evan's work and um, when you subscribe to our patreon you know what your money is what gives evan uh food so <laughs> so please. sincerely uh, appreciate the uh, apollo city uh community it yeah like <laughs> exactly you know brandon is not lying so uh <laughs> thank you all thank you for having me here brandon i'm excited for our project we're both working extremely hard not only on that but on a ton of, ton of other things but yeah we got some some really fun stuff cooking up yeah so everyone you know if you could subscribe to our patreon if it's uh, worth a dollar a month to you the price of a comic book a month to you um 10 bucks a month you know two comic books a nice fancy coffee uh that uh not only helps us you know look amazing but it feeds evan so please let's, let's get some insight from evan and everyone gets to know you a little better today while we start this astonishingly god i do not know what to even say about this movie i've i think i've only seen it once maybe one and a half times in my whole life um, I never wanted to go back, but we're doing Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Uh, I wonder if I walk away like even more <laughs> angry than I did when I first saw this. Um, so everyone who hasn't seen a movie commentary with us before, this is how we do it. We do three, two, one, play. When I say play, everyone hits play, and we should all be pretty much synced up. We're all watching it on Disney Plus. It's at the one hour, 32 minutes and 53 seconds spot. Does that sound about right, gentlemen? Yes, sir. All right. Absolutely. Three, two, one, play. 20th, 20th Century, Century Fox. Fox. Uh, but also, I'd like to say it's uh, just pretty wild again because Evan and I have done our fair share of podcasts together, and so it's fun being on another uh, <laughs> podcast episode with Evan. Together again, you know? Yeah. I was thinking that before we, we hopped on. And I, w I wasn't sure if I was going to say it or you were going to say it. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. This is like a, it's a uh, pod, pod orgy. That's what we're doing today. We're just mixing. <laughs> yeah, that's 100%. That that's remember. definitely the, it's like the adjective that I would have used there. friend into bed, you know what I mean? You're just oh, like, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Dude, this looks like a cool beginning. Until you realize that's fucking Galactus right there. Yeah. So I've seen this movie like once. Also, I realized like two minutes ago that we don't that. I mean, I didn't pull up this movie's information. And I don't I think did. you did, Brandon. I, did. I, I got it. I got it. I'll look right here. Um, let's see here. But but bad. Fantastic Four: Rise of Silver Surfer. Um, 
that's weird. Um, okay, ba ba ba. Is it I mean, this sequence is pretty cool. Film. It's uh, the oh, the first one came out in two thousand five. So this is a, two years later. We got a, a sequel, um, and uh, uh, we're directed by Tim Story. What did Tim Story do? Let me look that up real quick. Um, but ba ba ba. Best known for Barbershop and the oh, okay. Ride Along franchise. I mean, that makes sense. Dude, wow. And then Fantastic Four. How do you do Barbershop and Ride Along? And then you do the widest family in the MCU. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get that. Okay. Um, let's see here. Filmography. I'm going to see what else he did. Shaft. Tom and Jerry. That was such a ominous oh, man. opening. Yeah. Because you can't even tell that's Galactus. Like, you have like, no idea what's happening. You're like, oh, I just watched something probably bad go down. Um, like I, I feel like it was bad oh uh dude mark frost also worked on this um don Payne did too i think he did the first one too wait let me see writing credits da, 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 film oh no oh he did the first thor and thor dark world though and my super ex-girlfriend really yeah him That's and wild. mark frost mark frost who did twin peaks <gasps> there we go. How exciting. We're getting the Silver Surfer right away. Um, well, that's, a pretty, that, that's pretty cool. I can't lie. Yeah, it's pretty sick. That's a really, that was a really good effect. Um, budget, 120 to 130 million, and it made 301.9 million. Nice. It's not bad. Good turnover for a horrible film. I mean, that was a cool intro. Honestly, the last Fantastic Four movie we saw, it just dragged really hard on Act Two. Like it, yeah. it was, it had its flaws, but I mean, for its era, it was almost predicted. You know what I mean? Massive back out. All right, all right. I like that this one didn't start with eight pages of exposition yeah that's definitely a step up from the first one. <laughs> oh right isn't yeah the entire plot of this one is that they're like keep delaying their wedding scientists or celebrity <laughs> this is a good fantastic four moment dude and honestly the casting i love i absolutely adore the casting yeah Jessica Alba is, the, like, really tan on this one, though. The Thing prosthetics are so good. Yeah. Right? They really are. Yeah. They're, I mean, way better than the... Man, I don't know if we're going to try to watch it. We might as well, to be honest. But the the Josh Trank Fantastic Four, do you remember the difference between the two? He was way more rockier in the other one. Oh, yeah. But it just, like, didn't work still. Have some seats in coach. He's like, ah, can't do that. No, oh, never mind. Ha, <laughs> Yeah, like, dude, his lips and his mouth and everything, dude, that looks great. Reed Richards looks great in this one, too. I love how his regular business suit also stretches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never really considered like his like clothing also having to always be stretchy. Yeah, if he wants to be able to just, you know, do whatever. Is she wearing contacts? She's gotta be wearing contacts. She's gotta be wearing contacts. That's way too blue, dude. There's way more blue than the first movie too. And there's in the line the circle. Johnny's just fucking, I mean, dude, Chris Evans is Johnny Storm. Perfect. Ah, see. There he goes. Uh, that's, that's a good moment. <laughs> huh, Stanley was an exhibit. That makes sense. I like the idea... 
and this the Silver Surfer is just bringing like crazy cold. Yeah, it's like an interesting like, problem, I guess you know. And apparently, like in the comics, the Silver Surfer, he's like trying to hide Earth. He finds Earth, and yeah. he's trying to cover it by all mm-hmm. these elements and everything, um, so that Galactus doesn't see it because Galactus is on this rampage. The lab got a major upgrade. Major upgrade. <laughs> See, this is that. There you go. What we were talking about the last movie, how Reed is just like consumed in his work, so she turns the device invisible, so we could just ignore it for a moment. I mean, that's a total like focus on me, like you now. Get over here, like. Yeah. <laughs> Keebler. Honestly, hilarious. What do you have against capitalism? Have you read a lot of Fantastic Four, Evan? Like, what's your what's your take on the FF overall? I have enjoyed a uh, a fair amount. Um, I actually read uh, the first couple of arcs of Dan Slott's of. Uh, run same uh, i think yeah. like tw- uh 2018 19 I don't know. yeah yeah i tried um, reading i read up to like where the immortal hulk tie-in happened and that's right okay I, I don't i don't i don't think i read that far oh okay. but that sounds very I, damn now i'm gonna have to read read more because that sounds pretty cool <laughs> yeah there's like a thing where he the, the the thing has to fight the immortal hulk at one point and then you have to pick oh, it up man. Immortal. yeah um yeah, so that is like the most consistently that I've read. <clears throat> I read uh, like a couple issues here and there when I worked at uh, the local comic shop a couple of years ago, but it was, uh, yeah, never just like on my uh, pull list consistently. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I did not- enjoy Dan Slot's run because there was some really cool stuff that happened there that um, tied back like into the beginnings of their lore, which was pretty cool, yeah. I thought. That's what that's what was attracted me about it too, and that's what kind of pulled my attention towards that run in particular. Yeah, um, I feel like I really want to try to read as much FF as possible. I don't know why I'm just so attracted to this like family and group of people. You know what I mean? They're like, they're, I feel like they're so hard to captivate that you know certain storylines you could just either go really sci-fi and have a crazy adventure, or you could. Um, just kind of miss it and it falls flat as like a goofy family adventure kind of what these movies do yeah these movies have the potential but then they just turn into a really sad goofy family adventure when i mean the grant morrison run we read it was filled with like magic and uh like awesome reed richards consumed by his work ma- uh like science type of stuff and uh the family dynamic was there but not like that overdone family just i don't know Family movie is really, that G-rated thing is what they always go for for the Fantastic Four. And you kind of got to turn it up a notch. It is cool, though, because there is, uh, I don't know, I'm attracted to that balance of the sort of like familial dynamic that they have that ties them together and sort of unifies them both like as individuals, but like also as a super team, um, like balanced with all of the crazy cosmic adventures that they go on because they yeah. play off of the, the two uh, uh you know uh concepts play off of each other and sort of i i feel nurture each other uh in really compelling ways when they're done right yeah exactly yeah i don't think a lot of people read fantastic four either i feel like that's another miss too like the audience i feel for them is real small despite how well known and popular they kind of are People probably hear, like, Alex only has kind of read them in tie-ins more than, like, their actual series. Yeah, I do think it is wild how, like, that can, that ratio to, like, popularity versus, um, like, people really consuming a lot of their stuff, you know? Yeah. Dude, the dude from uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, like, as Alex was talking, my eyes glanced over and I was like, <laughs> yeah exactly yes 
Oh wow, that was like a. Um, so okay. Also, Mr. Fantastic has like super speed with his thumbs right now. I didn't know that was like an ability to like. Have I think super that was speed. him like growing extra thumbs from his skin. Oh okay. Well, that's interesting. I think. Yeah. This dude's yeah. ego. <laughs> That's amazing. Dude, and Dr. Doom is back. That's yeah, what we okay. just saw oh, as well. Thank you for that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I totally forgot there we that go. in this movie at all. I, I don't even remember if Dr. Doom uses magic in this movie, but we were saying that that was a key element missing in the last one, that it was really just science-based. Yeah. Oh, the night. Oh, I, I guess early 2000s. Ugh. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Talking about uh, Doctor Doom using magic, I read the infamous Iron Man series. I forget. I'm blanking on the writer's name, but Dude, that's Alex hilarious. Maleev. <laughs> Alex said the exact that's exactly same thing on his last earlier, FF episode. Whenever we were recording, I was like, yeah, oh, I've really? read. Yeah, because I was like, I've read more Doctor Doom than I have Fantastic Four, actually, because I've read Infamous Iron Man. And I was like, I can't remember <laughs> the writer's name, but I know the artist was Alex Maleev. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to Google it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now we um, need to know. We need to fix that. But oh. yeah, that, that run was very fun. And... Um, just like uh, the the kind of like lore, uh, the way it enriched the lore for Doctor Doom and it sort was of like by his Bendis. mystic. Oh, okay. Which Damn. makes sense. Yeah. Reed just got busted. Reed just got busted. Dude, imagine pissing off <laughs> Sue Storm. <laughs> Oof. Uh, why are you trying to save this, dude? Yeah, it's, come it's on, done. it's done. You. Dude, fucking. <laughs> I mean, that's a cool part, too. I just love, like, the little relationship drama between Reed and uh, Sue sometimes. It's ridiculous. Reed is always fucking up, even in the comics. And, like, Reed is a dick oh, yeah. in the early days. Like, when you read those yeah. early FFs, he says some kind of fucked up stuff. <sighs> and, you know, like, so many cool things come out of the Fantastic Four, like the Negative Zone and... Um, God, I'm spacing out that villain's name really hard right now. The metal-looking guy from the metal uh, negative zone. Um, he's like green and purple. Annihilus. Annihilus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and, like, Galactus is just, like, the coolest motherfucker ever, dude. Like, it's it's funny watching this movie. And I remember I was, like, waiting for Galactus to emerge the entire time, like, out of the cloud. And you just keep on waiting because it doesn't happen. <laughs> doesn't doesn't come. You just fucking. You're, it's the most. I don't know. I feel like Fantastic Four. We've been cheated out of way more than almost any other superhero. Because we had the failed Josh Trank movie. I don't know if you guys have seen that one. Have either of you seen? I, yeah, I've watched it a couple of times. Oh really? You've seen it more than once. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I applaud you. Maybe we'll get you back on that one too, just to top that off. You'll be like the yeah, most man. known watcher in the world at that point, probably. Um, <laughs> it's set a record for seeing that movie. Um, I'll happily do it. it. I've seen it once, and it just, it just, that one just like, like it almost goes somewhere. You're like, oh, 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 and then it just ends, and that's it. Like it's you're just buck wild, and then it just like, yeah, it falls flat, super hard flat. Um, Johnny. His hair, dude, I can't take it. I know. It's incorporated, bro. (laughs) 
<laughs> Rod says sideburns for me. Dude, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man, if I get old and I don't grow gray sides like Bruce Wayne and Mr. Fantastic, I'm just going to be side. I'm just, I don't know if I'm going to live with myself. Like, <laughs> it's the only way I'll get those gray, gray temples. Hair. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she is like a spiteful girl. Did you see that? Damn. Way to make him hurt. <laughs> Man said, uh. This is cool. Again, that whole mirror, mirror moment. Same exact thing. Batman 89 all over again. Von Doom. Mm, good sound design. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are... Okay. Narrative pet peeve. Why are we always having Doom fucking get rid of the thing that's the coolest part of his design? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. We're like, it. oh, you know the fucking badass mask that everyone knows Doom for? Let's have him take that off and not wear it. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Dude, you know, in that FF1234 book, I did love how Doom looked because, like, his hair was all frayed and it wasn't really a full head of hair and his skin was kind of, like, you know almost mauled you know what i mean yeah like it was a great look for him dude the mask in this movie is actually not bad for him either yeah i always love in universe news broadcasts when About, like, the uh like, like like for superhero movies i just always think they're so funny especially when they're like you know actual news broadcasters <laughs> oh yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, and it was a big deal. I think what's cool, kind of, about this movie is that they try to bring together a lot of popular moments of the FF history, like the marriage of Sue and um, Reed, and then you have the coming of Galactus. and um, Like, those are good things to try to pull from because those are pinnacle FF moments. But I think right around this moment is when the movie just, like, takes a turn for the worse. Bro, that was such a good joke, though. <laughs> that was really like the equivalent of the f joke in the one, two, three, four book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Nope. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. That's I great. love the implication that like Stanley is a big celebrity in this universe also. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> is that you know, the only time that he names himself in a, in cameo? a cameo? I oh. don't know, but yeah, I thought about that. I did because that's wild. I don't I can't think of another time. I mean, in Captain Marvel was reading the Mallrats script. So that'd be an implication that it's Stanley, you know? Yeah. That's the only time I could think oh, of it. Oh, man, yeah. You know, in the FF1234, um, oh, not 1234, in uh, Grand Design that I'm reading right now, mm -hmm. um, Tom Sicoli does some cool stuff where he has Stan and Jack Kirby always trying to get into the wedding or do something and being like, oh, so it should be under Stan and Jack. And the person's like, no, nah, you're not on the list and whatnot. Uh, but That's it's always awesome. Stan and Jack that are yeah. doing it together. And I love that. That's cool. I need to pick that up because I follow Tom and his artwork is incredible. And I read the uh, X-Men Grand Design by Ed Pisker, which was awesome. Oh, nice. So I definitely need to, need to pick that one up. Uh, dude, I, I have two single issues if you want. Uh, do you want them? Mail them over to you. 
I won't say no. There you go. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big facts. Just going to deduct that from what I... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Check the current value real quick, and all right. <laughs> I have to say, dude, I'm enjoying this one a lot more than the first one so far. Dude, me too, actually. It's actually not this horrendous is, this so far. This is pretty good. Dude, we have a... We have a fucking, what's his name on Brooklyn Nine-Nine? I'm spacing um, it. Captain. Yeah, I was going to say that, yeah. but I was like, that doesn't. <laughs> like... <laughs> Dude, Dude, I know it. I've seen so many seasons of that show. I've seen all of them except for the last one. Uh, Captain Ray Hole. <laughs> Captain Hole. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look I it. just really thought yes. it was going to come to me as I said yeah. captain it just <laughs> didn't <laughs> one of us would register at some point I love this how like that's what cripples read he's like oh reality like I'm getting married I like the little beard the little five o'clock shadow he was getting to You know, the Marvel Universe probably has utilized more blind characters than any other universe. Who's blind in the DC Universe? Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing, I'm forgetting someone major, but I don't. I don't know. I can't think of a blind person in the DC universe. But I got two of the top of my list on Marvel right away. I was the trying to think there's also like one. two. Echo and Stick and... Oh, there you go. Uh, no, Echo's deaf. Um, right? Well, who's deaf Who in the I DC thinking, universe? Uh, uh, that's blind. That's also a Daredevil character. Blind spot? Is that someone? I can't remember. Anyway, Brandon's point stands. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Oh, why would they do Dude, that? he just looks exactly like Punisher. Or, Jigsaw. Um, what's his, yeah, Jigsaw. Jigsaw from the Punisher movie. Jesus Christ. We saw Punisher Warzone recently, and it just, it was bad. Oh, it's horrible. Evan, don't ever do that to yourself. Don't, yeah, no, you don't I, need to watch that I movie. I have never, uh, never had the desire, and I appreciate the reaffirmation. <laughs> we did yeah. pay for it. Unless you listen to our commentary track while you watch it. That's when you should watch it. <laughs> It'll be fun that way. I, w I will do that. I lied before. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Johnny. Wow. <laughs> Dude, all of us just in love with Jessica Alba in the early 2000s. Like, Dude, she is so tan, though. I think that was another yeah, thing about this movie. Wild. Just, just too golden, you know what I mean? Aw, it's her brother telling her that. Yeah, they're like great casting and they do great stuff with the family in these, honestly. Yeah. Dude, oh, I didn't tell you, but I read the movie adaptation for the first one. You mean the book? Yeah. How was yeah, it? Yeah, the comic? Yeah, it's a Marvel right. Limited. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. It's like a 54 uh, page issue. Oh, that's cool. The, the F, I mean the four. Yeah. Um, Man, uh, one, the it looks nothing like any of the actors, dude. They probably couldn't get <laughs> what's his name? It's like the priest the guy list. right here. Oh, I Got, missed it. Who was it? I just uh, see his it's, jaws open. He's a comedian. He's a uh, I swear that dude was on community for like an episode. Yeah, yeah, no, he was. He was. He was. Yes, in the Meow Meow Beans episode. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, Pastor Fantastic for Rise. Oh, there he is from the back. Super Brian, recognizable. Brian Poshin. Okay. 
No wonder we don't remember the last name, man. Wait, what is his name? Brian Potion. Uh oh. P O S E H N. Um, I forgot what you were saying before that. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 Seriously, dude. Like. <laughs> Incredible. Oh wow. It's like, oh yeah, I just started. Cosmic radiation. It's cosmic radiation. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. I mean, that's the cool. I, that that's the Fantastic Four. Reed is always just like work before love, you know. And how can she get mad at that when he's like, "Dude, I I I told you, like I was trying to tell you guys, there's some stuff going on." He's <laughs> like, "We're all about to die." Yeah, I told you it was important. I told you it was important. I like how that's the scientific term for it, cosmic radiation. That's the only way to explain it <laughs> in, in Reed Richards scientific terms. I do remember seeing this in the theater and just being absolutely like, what are they going to do with this giant helicopter <laughs> coming at them? Those blades are so deadly. How did she not... <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty metal. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> great line. That was great. Honestly, I'm, I am enjoying this movie so far. Like, this is a good FF movie, I feel. Sue all devastated. Her wedding was destroyed because of Fucking superhero shit. You know what I mean? Oh, I remember this. Oh, wow. Yeah, there Bro, you go. Yeah. Oh, this bangs. Let's see. <laughs> How cool, like, the Silver Surfer doesn't have, like, any impact. He's that smooth and shit, like... And Johnny's just fucking shit up. Yeah, I love that they sh really showcase that. That's cool. You know, the graphics aren't horrendous, either. Yeah. They're solid, honestly. Yeah. Especially hey. for, like, the amount. I was just there. So why is why are they just fucking up shit, though? You know what I mean? That's the big question. Dude, they were in New York, and now they're in D.C. That's, like, four and a half hours away. Like... Boof. Oof. Damn, that's dope. Dude got wrecked. Oof. Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> oh, no. Damn.
Wow. I mean, that was kind of fun, to be honest. But, like, I don't get why the <laughs> chase. You know, I mean, that's the only thing about it. Like, you're kind of left wondering what the fuck the Silver Surfer is doing. Oh, that's sad. Huh. I don't know. I got to read the the Galactus issues of the Fantastic Four to really see, because I always felt like he was hiding the planet from before he called Galactus. I thought like Galactus, you know what I mean? Like he is a reluctant they, like thing. They probably just like changed it for yeah, him to be, like more of a yeah. Shit villain in this. Yeah, because it's easier to do because they thought it was easier to do him as a villain than like Galactus. Yeah. That's shitty. Silver Surfer. He said the thing. That's a name. Oh, that's why the, tra the chase. Brandon. I like how all their attire is blue. Like, her, even her pajamas and shit are just, like, casual clothes. Hey, man, gotta stay on brand. Yep. Have, have a franchise to, <laughs> you know, maintain. I wonder if it's intentionally, like, a nod to the original suits, like, with the white collars and the blue jumpsuit, or maybe it's just coincidence. But she's yeah. got the white undershirt. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Look at him. Blue pants and the white shirt. Yeah, yeah. It would have been cool to see. I think that's the right way to go about a new FF movie is start them off with like the kids, like have them come back from like a cosmic. Isn't that what happened with the Dan Slot run? They came back from like some cosmic adventure out of nowhere. And that's why they were missing. Yeah, for so long. after they were gone for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's because they were just straight up. gone. It's because Disney was like, fuck you, 20th Century Fox. Yeah. And the Fantastic yep. Four were just gone for years. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's also why it was always the Inhumans and the Avengers versus the X-Men, because they were like, fuck you, X-Men. Yeah. <laughs> we can't make movies with you yet. <laughs> exactly. Like, and so I think that'd be a great way to do it. Like, even if you want to do the 60s vibe and everything, like have them disappear in the 60s and or 70s or whatever and then come back now you know i'd be fine with shit like that that would be so so cool right i totally forgot about this yeah me too well i, I don't get the whole like giving him super scroll abilities it's probably just another thing they were trying to shoehorn in yeah right like <laughs> Damn. And she's naked, uh, too. <laughs> Again, the whole thing oh. was just a bit to get her naked. Yeah, like the first yeah, movie. Second of course. Time. It's just such a fucking eye roll, man. Dude, that was in the first movie. They found her. They found one yeah. way for her to strip down. There he goes. There you go. 
That's the thing. Always. <laughs> That's amazing. That's kind of fun, though. You know what I mean? Like, poof. <laughs> I mean, the dynamic of like Ben always trying to get back to like his normal self, too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That that's that's all there. Also, those transformations, like back and forth, were like pretty seamless. Pretty, for, yeah, 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 they were good. Dude, it, it, and like I, you know, we always try to watch shitty movies, but I'm not like. Even the Silver Surfer looks dope as fuck, dude. <laughs> I was gonna like, say you were kind of dogging dogging yeah. the movie when it was getting going. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're turning around. It's not bad. It's, 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 not, it's not horrible so far. Like, <gasps> oh my god. Oh, before TikTok, there was a uh, e network. <laughs> before we got our our news, like, through scrolling. <laughs> that, that was so kind of Johnny just <laughs> walking up in the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a total comic book moment, too. Like, him popping up in the background and be like, oh, fuck. And just, like, no, disappearing. Out of here. Yep. Dude, what was I just reading? But the Baxter building is also, like, a fucking rocket ship in case the Earth, like, falls apart. So Reed has built different ecosystems in it. And there's, like, a lava part. There's, like, a arctic part there's like a jungle terrain all sorts of stuff that's wild was yeah was that in dan slots run because i feel like i vaguely remember uh, that maybe, i don't maybe it wasn't know. there i I've, I've read a lot of ff in the last week or two don't really recall where i think it was grand design to be honest though i wouldn't be surprised when you read those grand design books and get so much history at once, everything's like, oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of just dazed. Like. I was just about to ask what was going on with Doom. Ah. Oh. Probably Dude, Doom. I swear to God if they took him out of his mask the whole movie. That's just... It's crazy how they just really fucked the villains, you know what I mean? Like, that's what probably really makes this movie bad. It's like, one, you've already yeah. messed up Doom by taking off his mask. And then two, Galactus is a fucking cloud. And three, you have Silver Surfer as, like, the main villain, probably. Like, nah. Dude, like, okay, yeah. What it, They should have just had him in his classic He's design, basically dude. wearing a mask. Yeah. Oh, my God, you're right. <laughs> Put on your fucking Doom mask, dude. Like... I'm busy, my friend. <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, pal. Oh, wow. I feel like Doom might even be stronger than that. Why is he moving like an old man and shit, too? Damn, that fucking squat rack. That's dope. Let's see. Oh I want to do some math right here. Um, let's do 10. So at least I got to see what's on the side. That's like not even a thousand pounds. I'm just going to say that. That's going to be like 650 or so. He could do better. He could do That's better. 
<laughs> so it's not shit actually. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like eight. When did he get here? Seven days ago. <laughs> I'm waiting for it, bro. <laughs> just a bunch of calculations. I know, yeah, just random equations. <laughs> oh, like, there's gonna be like three people who understand this in the whole audience, so just fuck with it. Like, <laughs> you know, sold the shit out of those coordinates being important. <laughs> 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 Honestly, like, great line reading. Um, what do you guys think about what did you guys think about Adam Driver being Mr. Fantastic supposedly I mean I love Adam Driver so I think he like he'll crush anything he's not my first choice for Reed but I, I mean like I think it'd be interesting I just don't think he's a Reed yeah yeah I don't know I'm okay. certainly happy that it won't be John Krasinski Really? I, didn't su Fact. I just, like, didn't super dig that. And, well, I mean, it was, like, cool for what it was, but it was also, like, eh, I don't know. I would have really joked drunk, Krasinski. I won't lie. I was, on, I was on that boat. I was feeling it. I was vibing that. Right on. I won't lie. Um, what about the new rumor that Matt Smith might be running up? I Are you guys Doctor Who fans, first of all? I am not yet, but I have to watch it. Dude. So. Yeah, I haven't I watched it. <sighs> I feel like if you watched him in Doctor Who, you could see him being Reed Richards, to be honest. I mean, I love him. House of the Dragon right on. was amazing. So Yeah, yeah he was, was really incredible great. on that. Um, as the Doctor, he's very frantic, but also very emotional. But, like, it's it's just, it's one, he's my second favorite Doctor, besides David Tennant. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. just so fucking good. His episodes were just brilliant. Um, and he could do that frantic, manic like mad scientist madman type of thing you know what i mean that reed can be like yeah so and him being all stretchy i could fucking imagine <laughs> he's got that oh, weird cool, face you know this is a cool yeah, set piece. Yeah. yeah absolutely it is yeah this is dope this i i think this is like what like i don't know i like the Watchmen movie for one but what they do is that they fuck up the ending they fuck up the the squid they took it out and they blame Dr. Manhattan on everything and just like this like you lose Galactus and you're just like what do you what do you have you know like what is this <laughs> yeah I do have to say though, I'm not a big fan of this like switching powers subplot yeah no it's like yeah, I can do without it. Yeah, Ben, fucking maybe you should be lifting more in general, dude. It's also <laughs> just like maybe if you did more than like eight fifty. How, how, how physics work? <laughs> <laughs> that bottom bar would just like crumple. Yeah. <laughs> you always with the nosebleed from working so hard you know what I mean it's just so powerful honestly oh my gosh she's just like over here melting dude for reals touch yeah Jesus <laughs> took way too long how come they just touched another find like you just cause it's caring. just Johnny's oh such an asshole Damn. Well, that's not good. Ooh. Looks like Galactus is going to come, like, use Earth as, like, a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. A giant sex ball. And then hurl it into the sun. <laughs> yeah, just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <It's> like... <laughs> United States of America. <gasps> Victor. Where's 
Damn. <laughs> oh. Oof. Oof. You don't mess with Captain Holt. I just realized that the thing doesn't have ears. Does the thing not usually have ears? No, he doesn't have ears. Oh, okay. Nah, he's, yeah, he's just a rockhead. <laughs> right. really don't, 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 don't make me think of some, some alt metal, but <laughs> maybe. Dude, they huh? gave him ears. No ears. And, uh, yeah, no ear. But dude, in the 2017 movie, they gave him fucking ears. And he looks stupid as Did shit. Did they? Yes. <laughs> All right, now I have to find this. Of course they did. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> dude, we're gonna have to watch it. We're just gonna finish the trilogy. Like, where'd they get that footage? Where was that camera? He just said he made a detailed recording of their encounter. Mm. He's like, so I got some actors and uh, we shot it over the weekend. And um, his power comes from his board. <laughs> if we separate him from the board, we may have a chance of stopping him. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's, there you go. Oh, man, almost for a bit. Yeah, for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they gotta work together. Reed Richards and Victor Von <laughs> Dude, Doom. How I just imagined because there's he absolutely has said that in Brooklyn Nine Nine. Like you two should get started right away. And I just imagined <laughs> like splicing in a clip of Captain Old just saying you two should get started right away. Oh just in the goodness. middle of that scene, just it's the only clip, and it just <laughs> randomly cuts to that, and then cuts back to this movie. I'm so uh, I That's need amazing. that. The Alex Bats cut. <laughs> yeah. It's just one, people it's just are, one people, two second shot. People are like, uh, I think this is the same movie. And I'm like, no, did you see? Did you watch the whole <laughs> One thing? hour, 10 minutes and 42 seconds in? And they're like, uh, I mean, yeah, I think so. <laughs> no, obviously you didn't. <laughs> I love his glass, dude. I know, yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> I like how he gets a custom glass. <laughs> yeah, even the dynamics between all the characters. The writing's not horrendous so far. Yeah. I read... Oh, look. Um, sorry, go ahead, Alex. Oh, I was just going to say I love that zoom in, so definitely go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just going to say I really love the dynamic between... Johnny and Ben, uh, I read the Marvel 2-in-1 that was just, like, focused on them for oh, cool. a while before the Fantastic Four came back, and those were uh, some, some pretty fun adventures. Chip uh, Zdarsky wrote those, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I heard they're really good. I'll check those out. I feel like really hardcore nerds like the Fantastic Four like Chip Zdarsky Dan Slott you know what I mean yeah have you like <laughs> <laughs> I have them on one of my uh, 
action figure shelves fighting a sentinel with the x-men that's sick that's, that's sick. super sick i'm jealous of that <laughs> i'm glad that all three of us have a really big selection of action figures makes me feel really good about myself oh dude yeah what i do <laughs> yeah i need more but it's okay <laughs> yeah That's so shitty, dude. You could have had him walking around in the Doom costume this entire time. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, why is he... What's the point? Yeah. Just to show the actor's face. Like, you just you just saved on costume and budget. That's all they were doing. This is totally subtle. I know, yeah. I don't know. I guess just like every FF film, it will start to drag right Ball. around this point. Where we're going to go in circles about stupid tit. I wonder if they had read one, two, three, four. Because that's like not too far from what she says. Right. In there too. <laughs> Dude, again, fucking Chris Evans shirtless, just like the first movie. The fucking all the Chris Evans movies when he was like younger, he just had to be like half naked or naked. He's like, but wait, seriously, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird how Chris Evans just like loves doing his like little indie movies yeah he'd rather do that than like all the big budget stuff Another big asshole. <laughs> Dude, and I mean, like, in the comics, you get these crazy machines coming down, and it's all catastrophic, and now you're just turning yeah. into a flashlight. Like, it's just... <laughs> like... Dude, did you guys play the video game? Just call him a nerd. Did you ever play the video game? No, fuck, dude. It was it was rough. It was I liked rough. it, but I mean, I was also like, you were younger than I was for sure. So yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I played it when it around the time it came out. Um, my brother and I stole it from a Toys R Us, actually. <laughs> um, that noise. But uh, it was it was just like a beat him up, and you just just goofy as fuck. It was like almost an Ultimate Alliance game, but just not nearly Damn. as cool. But the really bad camera angles, you know what I mean? Like where yeah. you can't really see what's happening sometimes. See the power switching, like why? That was a great read moment, though. Yeah. yeah. Now we're getting the adventurous Fantastic Four. I remember this forest level in the game in particular. That's fucking why. Like, that just stands out a lot to me. Oh, man. So does the movie just have, like, no second act? Like, are we entering the third act now? Are we? (laughs) Dude, I guess so, pretty much. There's just, like... There was already just, like, 15 minutes of second act.
Huh. Unless this is still like. This is probably still a second act. It has to be. It has to yeah. be. Yeah. This is where things are going to go wrong post this accident, though. You know what I mean? What's going to change stuff? Yeah. Well. Oh, there's a bear. There's like a military presence there, and there's still a bear that gets through. And now, like, a bigger bear is going to come out, I'm sure, at some point. <laughs> He's going to have to fight the mom or some shit. Rut row. I mean, but at this point in Jessica Alvarez's career, like, they really blew up her lips. She got super tan. Huh. Turn invisible and do it. It's your whole thing. I. Oh, that's such a sick like. Yeah. Hey, Kylo. My cat just started messing with my picture frames. <laughs> the coolest. I think I want like more of the Silver Surfer. Hmm. Like if the if the first act revolved around the Surfer and then coming across the Fantastic Four, that would've been cool. Damn, they're just gonna blast that motherfucker. Yeah. No fucks given. Damn. Oh man. <laughs> that was sick. That was pretty cool to be honest. Damn. <laughs> yeah, fall back indeed. Sue, it's all in you. Oof, that's fucked. Dude, that's crazy cool. Dude, at my old comic book shop, he had the like, uh, where they had at the movies the Silver Surfer display when it was like oh, a giant yeah. plat. Yeah, yeah, he had it in the <clears> shop. Yeah, they used to do cool stuff like that for movies. They don't do that anymore. I know. I guess the collector's market's just too booming now, and it got dangerous and shit, I'm sure. <laughs> People, like, robbing an AMC to steal a giant Hulk or some shit. Yeah, Does right. his power come from the board in the comics, too? <clears throat> nah, he just possesses the power cosmic, dude. Like, yeah, that's my thought. The board is, like, part of him, for sure, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're going to have to deep dive into some Surfer comics. I haven't read enough of them. I've, have you read the Trad Moore Silver Surfer Black? I have indeed, yeah. Oh, man. Evan, have you? I haven't read that, actually. Oh, man. It's Evan. very good. Evan, I'll that would blow your out. mind artistically. Hell that yeah. Would fucking... Dude, I, every page makes you come. I swear to God. Like, it's gnarly. Uh, it's it's, it's fucking, ridiculous. It's insane. It blew my mind. We did an I episode on it, check too. Out. Oh, sick. Yeah. I, uh, I also want to check out Mike Allred's run. I've heard really good things about that. Ah, same here. I have I have that omnibus, the dance slot Silver oh, Surfer sick. run. I got to read it, dude, because I'm an Allred fan. Hey, it's What's-His-Face. Damn. The U.S. government holding the Fantastic Four. Dude, he could have been wearing a cape. You know what I mean? 
Nobody All wants to see All his scenes regular. could have been so much more menacing. Yeah. They, they could just... have just been instantly amazing because you'd have Doom in his costume. Like, yeah. That's what you want. That's all we want. I kind of like this, like, not so silvery Silver Surfer, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, Airbrushed, like gray. airbrushed uh, Mexican Silver he's, Surfer. He's just like, he's just like metal. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of silver. I guess this is uh, this is entering Act Three, and I think you were pretty much right. I think that was the turning point into Act Three, right there, Alex. <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, I remember the dialogue so much worse. Not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of like interested in what's going on for the most part. Also, just messing with my cat. <laughs> yeah, he's like all his nails are real long right now, so he keeps on getting stuck and stuff a little bit more. I'm gonna have to cut him. Yeah. Dude, they're like shocking the Silver Surfer. Like, let's just fucking torture the guy. Let's just see what he does. <laughs> like, Dude, yeah. yeah. Anyone got a stick? Anyone can get a cool stick outside? Just give this guy a poke. Yeah. Damn. They're just fucking him up. No, I don't think that could happen. I don't even think his skin is, like, penetrable like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. How are you going to give the Silver Surfer a shot? His design is so good. Yeah, it really is. The eyes look great. Well, she's got to stay invisible for the cameras, dude. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, the, well, then I'm, if you know I'm here, I'm going to stay invisible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I told the M here. Yeah. I'm going to help you out. You don't got to look at me if you know I'm here. <sighs> here we go. Here we go. Do they give a back history of any of this? We don't get any flashbacks or anything, do we? I don't. I don't think so. How he's sad. Not, yeah, he's not going to drop from like his yeah. own name or Galactus's name, is he? Oh wait, are we? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. So we're just going to show the intro of the movie one more time? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Remember the first three minutes that you didn't understand it all? Now we're going to explain it. Damn, that sucks. We didn't get like uh, the deal, like or finding out his name is Norrin Ran or any of that. Damn. Yeah. Well, I mean, he did like say that you know he made the deal, but but like him like doing the deal, you know what I mean? Like seeing yeah. the city and his home world and shit. Anyone in there? Thought I heard something. Top secret alien. I'm going to pretend I'm not talking. Oh, man. Oh, we get to see the... Oh, the it's Galactus. How are they going to do fans like that? 
See this? I don't, this is the dude. shadow of this the shadow of what you could have gotten. Yeah, it's in here. I thought it was in the shadow. I thought he was gonna emerge and we're gonna see fucking Galactus at least come out or like a helmet or a hand or something, you know what I mean? Too big to yeah. see on screen, you just see a fucking hand. God damn it. See, we just get cheated out of good villains, like Oh, wait up. T'Challa, god damn it. Five running cats. Yeah, they possibly could have seen that coming. Doing a deal with Victor Von Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Where hey did now. you just open that from? No clue. <laughs> Should have already had it on in that shot, but it's fine. Yeah. See, instantly looks so much better though. So and, that that shot is pretty fucking sick. Yeah, and this is such a great plot for Doom, also. Yeah. Like wanting to fucking control the Silver Surface board. I mean, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we really wanted this whole movie. I forgot about that completely. Oh, Jesus Dude. Christ. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. Movie's picking up after a slow second act per... <laughs> just like the first one. The entire second act was like, well, that's not a bad moment. I could see that. <laughs> but, like, that was it. Like... <laughs> huh. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> so goofy, dude. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so, like, just unfazed by that sight. <laughs> yeah, that, that horrific, like, they're just like, oh, fuck, guys. <laughs> well, to be fair, he was holding them prisoner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was being a dick. We're not gonna lie. Come on. Oh, right. I totally forgot about this. Fantastic. Oh, hell God. yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I forgot about that, too. <laughs> That's right. Dude, that would be, like, the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> Dude, I am so upset like how lame they made the surfer. They just did that to like save money on budget too, because they could just do a that costume or suit way easier, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. That's ridiculous.
It just means good dick can get you, like, really far in life, you know? It's there when you need it. <laughs> Think of the advantages. The dodge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I, I just can't. I, I know, it's stupid. That was ill forced. They had to fund the movie somehow, you know? You think he gets tired of just flying, though? Like, does that wear you out? Does flying wear you out? I mean, they it's have, to. Like, for him, it is, like, as far as I know, it seems to be a thing that he does, like, it does take a lot of energy for him. He can't just, like, fucking constantly be, like, going all out with his powers. Oh. Oh, here we go. How far into the movie? We get some uh, understanding. An hour and 12 minutes. <laughs> Boof. I do dig the whole doom on a surfboard, though. The surface surf for surfboards, like that's a cool. I don't know if that's ever been done oh, yeah. before. You know, has that? I don't. I don't recall that in a comic or seeing that image ever. You know, I'm not sure. Yeah, I couldn't say so. I feel like it's one of those things that like has to have been like has to have been done. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Like, out of all the things they brought to this movie, that couldn't be the one original thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be shocked. Oh, T'Challa. Damn it. T'Challa just, like, hit my glass that, like, tapped my spoon, which wet my glasses. Whole chain reaction. <laughs> yeah. I think I was, like, new chest plate armor he has on there too it's all detailed and shit uh it looks like he did briefly control the power cosmic uh in fantastic four number 57 in 1966 oh huh, cool shit nice can't lie glad we're finally out of the skies I have her going around the world in this movie too New York, Japan, D.C. We're in China right now. Oh, man. Oh. <gasps> Sue Storm, dead. By Victor Von Doom. Man, I was going to eat cookies and milk right now, but I think my roommate's kid ate all my cookies. So all I had, I had already poured a glass of milk, so I just put granola in it. And it's just super... That's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty good. It's crunchy. Wait, it's is like she just fine? Just cereal. Essentially. Is she? The thing like disappeared and I don't It was like the silver part of the board though, you know what I mean? Like uh that. Yeah. Child, stop clicking on my fucking shit, dude. He really is just a giant cloud, bro. Oh Be 
movie, just one of us. <laughs> Super Skull Johnny. God damn it, T'Challa! You really fucked up my shit right now. No, god damn it, T'Challa! God damn it, T'Challa! I always choose on my mic, my headphone cord. All the time, over here. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is Galactus. We are staring at Galactus right now. So I always thought bland. like his hand was going to come out or something. Dude, so wait, did the board give him that armor or did he have that armor? Uh, kind of both. That's kind of stupid. Why would he need more armor if he has like powered, like Silver Surfer type armor? You know what I mean? Yeah. crazy that this came out the same year as Spider-Man 3. That is wild. Holy shit. It's a year before they... the Dark Knight and Iron Man. Oh, wow. I don't dig the whole Super Scroll thing. Yeah, no, I'm not a big fan. I would just prefer them to fight him as a team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's like the whole honest. thing. Yeah. Save Super Scroll for fucking Super Scroll. You know what I mean? Like. You know what's shitty about that? Is that when what? fans see that, like, a Super Scroll later and they don't know about the Super Scroll, they'll be like, oh, they're doing that thing they did in FF2 to, like, homage it. <laughs> And you're like, no. Yeah. No. His hands. Yeah. I love how he just inexplicably, like, had the hands but not the face for that shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why? You know <laughs> what I mean? Like... <laughs> I totally forgot that she like dies for a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Dude, if they would have had good villains in this movie, this movie would have been pretty goddamn great. Yeah. I feel like they were going for like Morpheus in the Matrix with his voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. Ow! What the fuck, dude? Ah! Ah! Why? <laughs> Brandon doing a live role play of Silver Surfer. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> What is Johnny doing? How oh, he's really pushing him? Uh, you have to enter the Galactus Fleshlight to like deactivate Galactus. It's going deep in the hole. Bro, like what the fuck? What is this? It's a giant cloud. That's all it is. It's just a giant sucking cloud. It's just sucking the earth dry. That's all it's doing. It's plugging into the fucking holes and sucking the holes dry. 
It's like a reverse fart. Galactus is a reverse fart. Put that on a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I thought we were going to start to see... You don't even see a shape of Galactus, do you? Like, his helmet or anything? No, I doubt it. He's just about to go, like, supernova here. That's that's it. That's Galactus. We get, like, a hint of the pink. There's, like, a slight... <laughs> yeah, we get some colors. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even fucking try. Oh, hey, there's a side. Oh, I kind of... Did you kind of see that? Oh, in the, a little in, bit. A little... If you really use your imagination and look. It's like when you stare at the ceiling and you see shapes and designs and shit. Like... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't really understand the title of the movie, but... Right? The Rise of the Silver Surfer? <laughs> like, how did he... I guess rising in like revolt against Galactus. It would have been cool like if it was like a Silver Surfer origin story. I forgot they're in Japan. So like it's Tuesday. Godzilla was here last Thursday. We understand. Well, she sat that fight out. Yeah. They kind of all did. The Fantastic Four sat out the final battle. Yeah, yeah except for the Super Scroll Johnny versus Doom. Yeah. Which also Doom just like went into the water. I want more Chris Evans Human Torch. That it's fantastic. crazy that it was only four years between this and him playing yeah. Captain America the first time. Mm -hmm. That's insane. T'Challa, I swear to God, dude. Like those sides are getting grayer throughout the movie, dude. Yeah. They're way more prominent now. Man, those suits must be really warm. It's a lot of padding in them, too, you can tell. That's cute. It's it's not a horrible Fantastic Four story. It's a horrible Fantastic Four villain story. Yeah. All well, the stuff with them is like really good. Really good, to be honest. Except for the except for the power switching. That's cute. <clears throat> did Johnny bring the fucking what he did? Yeah. The dirty trick. Telling you, good, good, good dick gets you a long way, you know. <laughs> the moral of Johnny's story. I like how green screen that is, too, in the background. That's rough. <laughs> That's really rough. A little, little bit. To the ECA, watch. Oh, 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 oh. Burned it. <gasps> that was great. Damn. Oh, that was great. 
That was awesome. Dude, they just left that girl in Japan. I guess she has like yeah, military huh? connections. Yeah. Then they're because they're going to Venice, dude. Nice. We haven't really gotten it all movie. Um, you know that wasn't absolutely horrendous. Ninety minutes of just watch. being like, you know, this is almost a good FF movie. You know, like <laughs> I think the first act is the first act is really solid. Yeah, I would say so. <gasps> oh wait, what's this? Oh, there was more. I paused it. No, there's more. Silver there Surfer's more. flowing oh, through shit. space, dude. It'd be funny Does if it said Silver open? Surfer will return. Nah, his board just went back to him. That was stupid. Was that like a hint for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that was a movie. <laughs> no, his eye did open at the end. It did? Mm. For a split second. <coughs> anyway. Well, yeah, like, honestly, that was, like, watchable at least. Yeah. We've seen worse. I thought it was way worse than that. I thought it was, like, a horrific, like, dialogue, like, fucking shit show, you know? I've only seen it before this, like, one time, so... It's been years since, since it came out, basically. 2015, so I think I saw that FF movie, like, in 2017, 2018, maybe. Saw it once. Yeah, no, I, I saw this in theaters when it came out, and Man. then I think I watched it again when it came to Disney+. Plus. How would you do that to yourself, dude? <laughs> um, just, uh, like, just, to, just to check it out again. Just see if my opinion had changed kind of like what you said about <laughs> watching this <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah i don't know um oh ahsoka august 23rd hyped yeah dude well that was uh that was a movie i don't know it, it's not the worst it's not the best it's just that we just got ripped that's it we got ripped on the villains yeah we're so, so close so close um that's all i have to say about it i'm over it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it happens any final words boys uh, i don't think so alex is always a good shit time so bad alex did not give a fuck about this at all <laughs> no i enjoyed it i had a good time i liked it i haven't seen it in forever so it was cool to like revisit and it's i mean i hope that we also read a fantastic four story earlier too I read a really good one too though yeah you know what i mean that's what makes us hurt a little bit more <laughs> i mean yeah Dude, that, that that's fair but evan if you read fantastic four one two three four it's on marvel limited four issues wonderful book hell yeah um a great mole uh mole man monster reference in there you can look at so hey sweet you should check it out sweet <laughs> <laughs> yeah alex brought it up earlier when we were talking and uh yeah i hadn't read it before so i'll it's definitely look into solid it solid as fuck grant morrison dude my boy um but other than that i'm assuming by the time this comes back i'm back from san diego but i haven't gone yet so i can't give you guys any reports so <laughs> 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 thanks for hanging hell yeah Absolutely.